our chat YouTube. It's Jess Guy Control time. This is the Team Flex Slot Garrick Relentless Jess Guy Control list that the entire Team Flex Slot has collaborated on and tried to make the best version of Jess Guy possible. I think it's kind of cool because it's got the Leyland Bindings in this package and no dress downs. They're playing just the counter spells. Interestingly, in the one drop slot, we have three copies of Tamio, which is the O3 flyer. Whenever you attack, you make a clue token, you can flip it if you draw three or more cards in one turn. Plus two, gets a little pseudo fog, minus, returns some stuff, and then the ultimate pretty much wins the game. So we got a co three copies of Tamio, which is more of like a tempo threat in this control list. And we have two copies of Spells there as our one mana counterspell, four copies of counterspell as our two mana counterspell, three copies of Force Litigation free, uh, one Teferi, three Flages. Flage, pretty good stabilizing. Teferi bounces ring back to hand. You got three copies of Supreme Verdict. N interestingly, no Wrath of the Skies in this list. Just opting for the good old fashioned four mana Verdict instead. And we have a bunch of removal as well on turn one, which is the prismatic endings, which I think is kind of interesting because you have a prismatic ending on one and then leyline binding on two. So you have some really early good removal in, in this particular build, as opposed to the wrath this guy's build, which is trying to play like two in the narrative and discharge, just try to survive until they have a big wrath. Also, uh, Lauren revealed sort of like a pseudo MDFC. You can cycle it and then draw in the late game. Four copies of Solitude is another free piece of interaction. It's just a 3 2 life linker that you can evoke in, kill something. Pretty good value, and then obviously four copies of the one ring, because you can't play control list without the one ring nowadays, it feels like. How we doing, Valk? Uh, meta base wise, we got one copy of Arena of Glory. We got the four uh, aired maces, four flooded strands, one hollowed fountain, one Ketria triumph, one Rapine's tower as our triumphs for the leyland binding. Basic island, two basic planes, no basic mountain, two copies of steam vents, one thundering falls, one sacred foundry, one Minamo to untap the ring. One meticulous archive as a, another surveil land, mystic gate to filter the Manamo into double white for Flege. And uh, yeah, nothing too special or crazy in the mana base. Pretty standard for a just guy mana base. Cyber wise, four copies of Consigned Memory, pretty good against the Eldrazi decks, as well as the four copies of Charma. Looks like they were really hedging for the Eldrazi matchup, and it shows here with these eight cards. I think if you want to be Eldrazi as control, you kind of have to play all eight of these. And for the Graveyard Hate, we got two copies of Soul Guide Lantern. Sweeper-wise, we got three copies of Pyroclasm, and then two copies of Invert Polarity against... I'd probably bring this in against Eldrazi and the Ring Mirror. Let's get into it. Soul Guide just got control. What's up, Goblin? Blue-White Flage and Sideboard cards, pretty much. Uh, hand kind of does nothing, and we're on the draw. Five Lander... I'm gonna need a mulligan for something better. Some more interaction in the early game. All right, well we can keep this. Probably put back one copy of the ring and pass. Well, by pass I mean it's their turn first. Getting thought seized. They're probably gonna take ring. Yep, takes the ring. But it's got to be a late line biting on top. I don't mind it if they're playing Necro. I don't know what other mono black decks are out there aside from Necro right now. Necro's probably the most predominant one. Mortuary. Or maybe it's not Necro after all. Commander feels like its own little world in Magic to me. Like there's the constructed players and then there's the commander players. I don't think steam events. Don't really want to steam events here. Maybe they're on Necro. Snot Sneeze takes my Leyline Binding. That's sad. Ruminamo. Maybe just cast Flage on them. Never beating the Blood Moon Allegations. Luckily, we're not up against the Blood Moon deck. Hydrogen Hopkins. I think we flage it up. I'm also never beating the Ringer Necro allegations, so hopefully they don't have either of those. They're at 13, so maybe like they go too low off this Necro and then die to flage. How many you drawn? Probably not a ton, right? 
I don't know if they can afford to draw that many. They go to three? That's the number you're not supposed to go to. Soul Spikes me. How many copies of Soul Spike you got? They got two copies of Soul Spike. Workable, workable. Yeah, this is Garrick's list. Which I imagine was the list that you were playing against me. I don't know. I'm making the flage. <laughs> kind of good, kind of rancid. You yeah, know, arena for the 12 damage. That would have been sweet, though. I think that was my only out to kill them that turn. Hopefully no Shelly. What's up, David? Finally, some cool fucking food. Did they have fell the profane? I saw water. It's bubbly, which is carbonated water. Does that count? It's cherry flavored. I'm not Costco Anzid because I don't come in bundles. I'm more like Walmart Anzid. Cockroach. Back up to 13. This is looking pretty doomed. If I have to verdict to get this thing off the table. You know, like the cherry, like the cherry lime. I haven't had the cherry lime. Um. So they're playing the Vein Ripper plus Soren build. Maybe she just attack. And then play fetch line pass. Yeah, I'm not giving him a draw because they're just skipping the draw step here. Now the question is, do I want to binding the necro or do I binding the Shelly with the necro trigger on the stack? I think maybe I'm just supposed to binding the necro. Problem is, if I binding the necro. They could play another one if they have another one. So maybe I'm just supposed to bind the Shelly with the Necro on the stack. Yeah, let's bind the Shelly with the Necro on the stack. It's kind of close, right? I guess the problem with this line is that I get blown out by... It's not really blown out, but I get... Kind of sad if they have a march for a million. The problem with binding the Necro is that if they're holding onto a redundant copy of Necro in their hand, then they just like, can play another one before they go to end step. Is that after binding the Necro main phase two? They're going to one. I guess that means they have a march in hand. Are there any more for surveil lands? I don't think so. I guess that means I'm getting a triumph. I don't even know what triumph I'm supposed to get. I don't know if it matters. I think they both give me one type. Hey, that's a lot of soul spikes gone. Orcish Bowmasters. Targeting themselves, and then they're going to Fatal Push. Let's crack this, go to six, and hope we rip something good off the top. Now this is the team flex slot list. Yeah, they already had revolt from Shield to ex being exiled, right? So I'm not hundred percent sure why they did that. I think I just have to pass here. I guess they probably just forgot that they had revolt. If I had to guess. Soren, maybe minus Vein Ripper. Not interested in cycling a Triumph at this point. I 
think I can fetch here either. Might just have to go to four or go to one off of the Supreme Verdict. And I don't think I can win this game, period. If I go to one off the Supreme Verdict and dead to anything, I get so many draws and looks at it. All right, well, invert polarity in. I uh, don't really think I want anything else. Is spells not that good against them? I guess I just take care of Bowmasters. It's got two prismatic endings. I don't think prismatic endings are right in the matchup. I can't escape players that turn, right? So I'd have to pass the turn, they could draw like seven cards, and then I'm dead to any Bowmaster. I'd say it's fine. I'm taking four damage from the Vein Ripper triggers. I'm going to shock this in. Oh, it's just going to pass. They probably have to Fatal Push the Tamiyo if they left Fatal Push in. Looks like they might not have. I'm just going to play try on this turn instead of leaving up a Counterspell. Because the point at which I want to counterspell something is on turn 3. Turn 2, I'm not sure I care too much about any of their stuff, and I'd rather just get some of these tap lands out of my hand. Yeah, this isn't land true control. I have made a mistake. You're right. For shame. Camera's is looking pretty good here. I'll play this Triome and pass. This is so many Triomes. Yep, Bowmaster resolves. Leyline Binding is... Makes the man base even worse. I understand why it's in the deck. But man, this man base is tough. I miss Fury so much. Cards gas. Um, polarity. Guess I'm gonna continue on my tap land spree. Maybe I was just supposed to binding the Vein Ripper, but then I have to sacrifice my Tamio. I could binding ring in Necro, so I think this is fine to keep the binding. Also invert polarity something here. That I don't really want to invert polarity because I don't really want to take the Necro. So I think I'm just gonna let it resolve and then Leyline binding it. If I end up taking it, I'm going to be kind of sad. I would like to take the ring. I'm also going to get pinged by Bowmaster here, and that's fine. I seem to dig a little bit deeper. Blage. Counter spell. I think I'm going to leave the Tamio back and block the 2-2. Two -two. I super regretted casting it. Yeah, I can't really cast into the Bowmaster. Lock the two two. I would like the sorn. I don't get the sorn. Sad. All right, Dingo needs a new pair of flage. Think we can do that, flage? Binding's not bad. I guess I leave it on top. I'm like not thrilled about it though.
Might have to binding this bowmaster and draw a couple cards. I'm gonna go into combat. Block your take the one, go to nine. Inquisition. Let's counterspell that. Because they're going to take the counterspell anyway, so might as well just like protect some information here. Another Bowmaster. I was binding the first one in the draw card. My Tammy was going to die though. They're going to have a 3 3. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, Fleish. How about the one ring? Could flip Tamio this turn. Is it worth it? Probably not, right? I imagine they're going to get the Necro down now. Which is going to be pretty tough to beat. Ring or Necro or Shelly are all going to be pretty tough to beat. Yeah, I should have killed this 4-4. Four -four. Yeah, I'm going to have 6. So I don't have anything to do. Can I beat them having another Bowmaster? Now that I drew the verdict, I think I can. Um, I just play Flage. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I guess I kind of like Solitude a little bit better here. I play Tamio and Solitude. I also play Solitude and draw a card with the clue token. Not sure which one's better. I'm actually just going to let this happen in case they have a shield rid. I know it kind of looks like I'm just like throwing away value here. And it's partially because I am. Partially to play around something that's going to kill me also. Alright, let's start by attacking. When it takes the damage, we'll draw with ring. It's not too shabby. Play another ring and get the flage back, I guess. I don't have to get the flage back because I did draw arena, so I can wait on that. Just draw another card. I shouldn't have played my land drop this turn. That's why I went wrong. Drawing this binding probably locks up the game. I'm not sure what their hand is, really. Maybe like Fatal Push in March or something. I think they would have marched the Solitude, though. This ring card got to go, chat. This ring card ain't it. Yeah, this is like the greediest mana base of all time, right? Well, in the biz, we like to say, thanks, George. Thank you, George Jabor, for making such a greedy mana base. We couldn't have done it without you. Sincerely, the Blue-White Gang. Let's go. Hello, Steven. Sorry, chat. I knocked the... George is who helped make this list. Don't worry, the stand's on its way, chat. Any minute now.
That's a lot of counter spells. I think this hand's fine, though. Pending's not that good, I don't think. Because, like, it, it's sorcery speed, right? So it's really bad against the Necro. It's fine against, like, Bowmasters, I guess. I'm not, like, super happy to go two mana, kill one half of a Bowmaster. That's why I have two of them, not the full four. Now you don't bring a charm off of the mirror. The mirror is probably like consigns. Because consign can tag ring. It can also like help you scam your flage out. I probably also take a couple of soul guide lanterns in the mirror. I'm gonna try the Jeskai scam list after this. Three of a kind counter spells. Well, they're taking things as if they're going to resolve a spell. So I'm curious to see what spell they think they're going to resolve here. Yeah, I think Jeskai's a lot worse of an archetype once they ban Ring, for sure. Yeah, EOT Bowmasters. How about Main Phase Necro? Memory Deluge will step in. Now, I think, like, if you're going to play Jeskai without Ring, it's probably going to be, like, Jeskai Wizards. Oh, they have Surgical Extraction taking all of my counter spells. Well, that's disgusting. Rose. Let's scoop. Thinking about it. Not the worst idea. Which is my Tamio. Soren plus. I think I don't think a Soren's gonna do anything. I did a jet, I hit my one ring before them. And a force negation. <laughs> Draw the, oh, okay. Needed some more cards here. Problem is we didn't have enough cards. Uh-huh. All right, I'm going to move to discard. I'll discard a Supreme Verdict. Need some more cards here. How do we get more cards? Oh, wait, I have an idea. It worked. Yeah, Soren does actual factual nothing. It's like, I guess I pressure it anyways. Not that I really have to. A lot of solitude. I actually can't do anything about that. I guess I could have drawn four off the ring. I'm probably going to draw 12 here. I should have just flaged upstairs last turn. That was the right call. Because worst case, they got a Vein Ripper into play, and it's like, all right, Solitude cleanly answers Vein Ripper anyways. But it goes to one. They need, like, Soul Spike into another Surgical Extraction. Scoop. That's pretty good. Couple of Pendings. 
Depends what we're up against, though. Amuletos. I'm going to go get Meticulous Archive because we're 100% going to pending this amulet. Best is pending in the West. Or I guess in the East right now. Another one. Another one for another pendant. Flawless deck. It's because a mastermind created it. Garrick, of course. <laughs> He's so dreamy. Sorry, Jarek. Blanc. I'm annoying. Not like this one pending doesn't really stop them from having an amulet effect, so maybe I'm just supposed to try to hold up force negation here. I'm graveyard that. Oh, the redundancy. Oh. Yeah, I think I'm just holding up force. I'm combining this. I can't binding plus pending this turn, otherwise I 100% would. Analyst. Three mana. Yeah, Prismatic ending hits Amulet. I have a feeling I'm going to try to ring this turn, though. Maybe there's Aftermath Analyst here. If I draw a land, that'd be ideal. That's not ideal. I could just spew my entire hand. Kill the amulet, kill the splunking, and solitude the aftermath analyst. But like, if I do that, what am I doing as a follow up? I think I should just flage the aftermath analyst. And then I'll deal with these later. Because they can't get to six mana this turn without another ramp effect. So I'm not just dead to a titan. I also have solitude for the titan, I guess. I have another ring. I can finding it. Grass. Grass, thank you for the four months. Actually, I should probably just pending this. Double amulet. All right, how do we best play around Besaju? I think it's binding ring, pending an amulet, hold up spell snare, pass. I can't really play around Besaju that well, unfortunately. I also can just try to get back Flage next turn and clock them a little bit. But I gotta take care of this ring first and foremost. Blue green, is this Explorer? Or is this Besaju? He's playing against blue black ninjas. That's sick. Was it the Spike variant? Playing all the, uh, like ornithopters and whatnot. Twist. I guess they must have changed their play. I don't think I'm changing my play though. I think that's a spike build. Alright, we're gonna try to dodge. I'm evil titan this turn. I don't think I'm dodging primeval titan. Yeah, gold finger. Good games, good games. Here's the prime time. At least I don't have two amulets, so I don't think this just goes. It doesn't just kill me here, but this is kind of annoying. 
Yeah, the surgical was like devastating. I was like, oh no. Oh no, I'm gonna die. I thought maybe if you had the surgical in hand, you were gonna take one of the thought seizes or one of the counter spells with the thought seize and then surgical them then. Let's see what Val could. He's the Titan. I kind of feel like I just trade here. Shifting Woodland. The Simic Growth Chamber. Alright, that means I don't want to trade with the Titan because then the Shifting Woodland becomes a Titan. So instead, I think I'm just going to Solitude this Titan. I can get back an Aftermath Analyst, which isn't great for me either. Might as well just continue holding up Spell Snare. Just for the heck of it. Maybe I can tag an Explorer here. Spell Snare is going to be one of the first cards I side out, though. It's not great in this matchup. Probably too cute to like untap Flage with Manamo and then go for a block here because of the shifting woodland. And just get more lands on top of that. Simic Growth Chamber. I can also spell snare and aftermath analyst if they cast one. I should be able to get the factor link and just type exclamation mark back there. Transmutes. Yeah, they have delirium, they have five card types. You can see it right up here. I'm guessing they're going to go for a Dryad here. They're going to 6 damage Flage, probably. Rip Flage. Need some way of taking this off the table. I don't even have a survey land in here. I don't like the lack of survey lands. I think I want to keep this Rafine's Tower in the deck, though, so I can cycle it. Alright, just gonna have to pass here, then. Need to find a ring of my own. Are they just shifting Woodland and turn it into an Aftermath Analyst and then sacrifice it? I'm taking so much damage. Now they have Dryad, so they mix everything green, right? Ouch. You'll have your moment, Spell Snare. I promise. Maybe not this match, but the next match. Or even the previous match. They're gonna make Aftermath Analyst and then sacrifice it and then kill me. Alright. Spell Snare, first card I'm gonna take out, second card I'm gonna take out, Supreme Verdict. I think I want the four consigns and then probably the two invert polarities. Charma is interesting. I don't think Teferi's that good. I could see Tamio coming out as well and just bringing in the Charmas. I don't think Charma is amazing in the matchup. Far from it, in fact. I think just like being able to snipe their Cavern of Souls if they have Cavern of Souls is going to be pretty relevant. Probably board out of Flage as well. Charma is either going to get stuck in my hand and suck, or it's going to pop like an Urza Saga or Cavern of Souls and be amazing.
I'll give it a go. Not thrilled with his hand, but it's fine. What kind of hand I wish I had a Soul Tide Triumph? Let's go get Esper. Then this can get Ketria, and then we'll just Leyline Binding the Amulet. They did play Besage, so they can bounce the Besage back to their hand, and then Besage my thing if they wanted to. Looks like a Grazer play here. No Grazer play. Um, let's just jam the Flage here. Because I don't think they can ring next turn unless they have an Amulet. I don't think I need to leave up Consign quite yet. I could get punished for this. Oh, not punished? Now, here's a spot where I'm definitely going to leave up Consign instead of just jamming the ring. I think countering their ring is important than playing my own ring. Let's do a little double surveil here. I actually think that one's probably pretty fine. I'll just leave it on top. Yeah, border than all the consigns. Yep, second amulet. What's up, Janini? That's not a question. Because if I stop the amulet and they jam a ring, I'm pretty dead, right? This is all fine. Not really, but it's fine. That sucks. That I probably need to consign. Subsecret. I pretty much gambled them having ring instead of titan. I can solitude this, but it's going to be a tough game. Won't be hard not to be dead. Yeah, I don't know if I... So if I can sign that amulet and they had the titan in hand, I don't know if they were able to cast it that turn. Yeah, I mean, I could consign the amulet triggers, but it doesn't do much for me, right? Kind of just... Stalls the inevitable. Is this a uh, lotus field? Okay. Yeah, it could have counted all those. I'm not sure. Again, not sure what that does for me, though. This is so much mana. Yeah, I should consign the Lotus Field for them. Here you go, opponent. They have, like, Aftermath Analyst or something. Grabs a prime time. 
and then they can mirror pool the prime time and then grab Teleria Academy plus the blue bounce land and then make an aftermath analyst, play the aftermath analyst, crack it, and then probably just come with Valka triggers. Charma's not great. I agree. I do think it's probably a little bit better than Tamiya, though. Yeah, it's Larry West, not Larry Academy. So dead. So very dead. I should try that, Citizen. I've been thinking about that, too. Sounds sweet with all the unearthed stuff. They grabbed a forest and a shifting woodland. And then just passed. Wait, aren't they dead? They're just dead if I hit this bounce lane, right? Because they have a pack to pay. <laughs> Charma's not that good against Amulet. Dies of Charma. I think th they should have killed me. 100% they should have killed me. I think it was a starving boy. Break open your wallet to me. True. To be fair, Charma is not that good. And that was an anomaly. And that shouldn't have worked. Timmy, we played Lantern Control last night. You were there for it. If it works, is it stupid? Kinda, yeah. Yes, but more. I can only handle so much Lantern. <sighs> Do you have your 500,000 channel points yet? <laughs> it's game three. Yeah, it shouldn't have been game three, but here we are. You like playing online? That's all we got. Yeah, counterspell is rumble. This random rumble. Dryad. Very possible I should just let the rumble go, but I kind of figured that they might have like shifting woodland. I want Thundering Falls. I just want to find Fourth Land. About Invert Polarity. I really want to take their Titan. I don't want to take their Titan so badly. Stop trying to defend your titan. I need it. Won't let opponent hit the gritty. You're right, I won't let the opponent hit the gritty, whatever that means. I'm just going to get beaten down for two at a time. Not blessed, now I can Solitude. Little EOT Solitude. Lotus Field. I 
All right, floats mana, plays the lotus field, sacks the lands, passes, Giga Jed. Gonna be at your university, really? That's sick. Yeah, get your Ren and Six assigned, and then you can stick them in the binder and never play them again. That's dope. I wonder at what point I'm just supposed to jam this ring. Probably when I have seven mana. I go ring polarity. All right, chat. Let's win this flip. Let's get this bread. Nice. Yoink. I'll draw a card. And I freaking love flipping coins. I wish I could just sit down at a magic tournament and to decide the outcome of the match, just flip a coin. <laughs> judge. Judge, please. Somebody, I need a judge. I think Jessica Control is pretty good. Definitely a meta deck. I choose you, Aftermath Analyst. Bye. Rip Bozo. Walks in, gets timed out for 10 minutes. Refuses to elaborate. Alright, so I need hasty mana. One, red, white, flaju, hasty flaju, send him with the squad, jover. Nice amulet titan deck, bozo. <laughs> you hit bold assumption, I know, right? Let's be real, I'm probably still gonna knock it over. Alright, now I can actually sit up straighter, and... Not ruin my posture. Yes. Turn one Thoughtseize? That's so rude. How are you just going to turn one Thoughtseize me like that? I messed it up. Alright, I took Counterspell. What's up, Garrick? You are missing some wonderful content. Um, I guess I'm just getting Rafines. Here, let's just get Rafines. I like Loki Wand to Surveil, but maybe this is fine. This thing is too tall. A little too tall. I guess I'm just going to have to have good posture. There we go. Good posture, Dingo, engage. Frog. I think I'm just gonna probably prismatic ending the frog and hold the blade line binding, maybe. Or I could... Yeah, I think I'm just gonna pending the frog.
and before Flood Moon. Yeah, that, you bring up a good point. I will die to that. Yeah, if they have it, good beats. Shocks, passes, okay, good. Not worried. Mm, little worried. I should have fetched something to play around it. The planes, right? Planes to dust. The counterspell. Rip counterspell. It's been real. Under city sewers. Does a little bit of surveillance. I think I'm just passing back here. I really have no reason to do anything. I'll right, we'll pass back again. If we can get fifth land for the solitude, I'd feel a lot better about our spot right now. Subtlety. You got some tea. I wonder if the blue black matchup is in blue black's favor or Jess guy's favor. Actually, not sure. I have double white, yeah. Let's just grab Island and pass back. I should be favored. Seems like it, right? Because I have really good answers to all their threats. Except for Bowmaster. Bowmaster's a little tough to get around. Kind of thinking after drawing that, maybe I just want to go fetch planes and then flage. I don't know if subtlety is like super normal for this deck to be playing. I might have to go to six here if they counter this. I guess it depends on what they counter it with. There's subtlety pitching a merc tide. I think I'm just putting it on top. Just took two cards out of their hand. It's fine. I think I can go to six here. And try to flage it again next turn, maybe. I think we can be patient, because they don't really have a lot of upstairs damage outside of, like, maybe Bowmasters. Maybe we can snares. Do like a little fight here. Do you think the one ring band would create a more diverse meta or all the ring decks would just go to Merc Titan Boros? I think it would be better without the ring. I think this game would benefit greatly if the one ring didn't exist. Considers. Yeah, games would be more fun. But dingo, the play patterns. Yeah, you're right. The play patterns. What would happen meta-wise? I don't think it would be like a bunch of drastic changes per se. But I think something's... Like, Boros probably isn't getting away untouched. I don't know if there'd be a clear best deck after that either. I think Boros would still be really good. I think... um Eldrazi would still be playable. I think the control decks would have a harder time without the ring. I don't know. I think a lot of stuff would happen. It'd be a completely different meta. Yeah, the control decks are going to suffer more than anything else. But at the same time, you're probably going to have a better time against Eldrazi as a control deck. And as a control deck, you're also going to have a better time against Boros.
One, two, three, four. Yeah, Micro Spawn is some. I think that's the best card in Eldrazi. Micro Spawn some shit. I right, scrap the Invert Polarities and the Soul Guide Lanterns, maybe. Do I even care about Soul Guide Lantern? Command is better. Micro Spawn's. Command is the best card in Eldrazi. No, the One Ring is the best card in Eldrazi. And then it's Command, and then it's Micro Spawn. And then there's like Big Gap, Ugin's Lab, Devour, World Breaker. One Polarity for one Force Negation. I don't like two force negations for two polarities. I don't think force negation is very good in the matchup. Like force is good if you're trying to like solve through their thing, EOT, and they're fighting over it, for example. That's kind of like a niche situation. All right, if I five zero with this, I'm officially part of Team Flex slot. I don't know where George is, but I'm sure he'll agree to it. Has one card in common with 2018 Jeskai Control. I'm not surprised. Got Force. Ooh, doesn't have the force. Even if they did have the force drawing, that solitude was huge. I see the solitude, the frog after that. I thought you were already on the team. I'm not on the testing team. I'm on the content creator team, I guess. I think Verdict is okay in the matchup. I can see trimming one. Another one. Finding go. Con sitters. Yeah, they fetch basic swamp because I imagine they're going to harbinger me. Don't harbinger me. Have a heart. I could play Tomato or I could just pass with Counterspell. I think I'm just going to pass with Counterspell. If I miss my land drop next turn, I have to discard, then I'll play Tomato. I don't think I'm too sad countering this. With Double Solitude in my hand, I can beat most of their, like, Oculus or Merc Tide threats. Bone Master's just annoying. I remember Celestial Colonnade. Good old colonnade. I miss Celestial Colonnade still. And Creeping Tar Pit. Those are like the most fun lands to play with. And I'm really surprised that they're not in Pioneer yet. I think they're just so much fun to play with. Jessica played like one rev at points. They bounced between zero and one. Jessica also used to play Jace the Architect of Thought. In the sideboard. This guy played some weird stuff. It's just bad anchorage. Don't say that. You're hurting my feelings. They took both of my solitudes. I really wish this planes let me deploy the Tamiyo and hold up in Brute Polarity, but it doesn't, so I'm just going to hold up in Brute Polarity. Alright, I figured out exactly how low the mic stand goes. We out here engineering. Alright, 
play Thundering Falls. Prismatic ending, not super interested in that. I think I just bin it and pass. Porphyry nodes, gas. Yo, Fleck. Thank you for the six months in the tier one. Oh, 07 posture. Fleck, thank you for the 13 months. I appreciate the continued support. I don't blame you. Subs are pretty expensive nowadays with which upping the price on them. But I appreciate you keeping me around. All right, best posture you've ever seen. I should really have a posture check reward. Like 50 points. Help me not develop scoliosis. I don't even get to decide. This game sucks. Oh, this game's great. I still think I'm just gonna verdict and play Tamio though. Honestly, I don't know if my income increased with the sub price increase. That was something I never looked at, and I probably should. What's up, Grey Bros? All is well. Dropping one polarity from the side and one more Teferi, swapping Prismatic ending for a Timeless Dragon. I haven't had any troubles with land drops too, too badly. I don't even be looking at the checks, just be swiping the cards, that's annoying. Well, I guess I'm gonna chump with Tamio. I'm gonna leave this on top, I'm gonna chump Murktai with Tamio, untap and just verdict this board away. Tamio ain't ever flipping. Oh, it's the Onion article? Let's go. Suddenly remembering to sit up straight once a month is the best way to keep a healthy back going into an old age. That's good. That's actually what I need right now. Yo, boy. Thank you for the raid, Doom. Appreciate you. Hope you had good stream. Here's my Tev. Thanks, Pump Master. How much is this binding post flood expensive? It's gonna cost four. Alright, so my analysis of this board is I should probably just play the One Ring and then Solitude the Frog. What are my other options? I could Binding, play Ring. I think it's just a Ring moment. If I draw a white card, mission failed. All right, let's pass. Here's my Tef, please don't respond. I think I'm killing this frog either way. I guess I shouldn't auto yield. I'm gonna lose my Teferi here. That's fine. I think this ring should probably let me draw out of this game. Although I am down to one solitude. So, maybe I can't take this Harbinger off the table and then I'd die. That'd be a sweet way to go out though. Drawing 80 cards and then dying to a 2-2. That's a little bit bigger than a 2-2. Oh, I drew a Binding. Ooh. Was that, my, that was my last binding. All 
I will binding this one. Let them have the Merc Tide because I can outrace the Merc Tide. I do need my mana, however. If they have another Harbinger, I'm in trouble. Anything else seems pretty beatable. I can play this Flage and then buy it back if I draw a land the next, like, four draws. I actually did not draw a land. Alright, so let's Lorien, Cycle. Grab Island, play Island. Make white, white, red. No. Yeah, that's fine. Because I can still leave up a uh, invert player to here. And then I'm going to one. I need to find another ring. Oh boy. And I have to like push the ring to get resolved on top of that. Could pending the ring, but then just like dead to the Merc Tide still. Twelve damage. And you're at a convenient twelve life opponent. So red, red, white, and then we get white here, and I can leave up spell snare and counter spell, or spell snare and force negation. I'm going for it. Let's go. Three lands in hand. Ah, uh, that's crazy. See, I told you we could race the Merc Tide. What did I tell you, Jet? We're gonna race the Merc Tide, no problem. This hand is so awkward. It's a lot of white spells for no white man in my opening hand. It's true, though. A playset of Oculus is just one copy of the One Ring. Anybody make the verdict here? It's either the verdict or the fleege. I think with ring in hand, I kind of just want to buffer my life total, so I think keeping the fleege is a little bit better. See if that ends up being correct. Yes. Affinity? Mayhaps a little affinita. Maybe I do want Supreme Verdict with Affinity. If it's Thopter Sword, then I think Supreme Verdict is a lot worse. What's up, bunny? My caps are gonna get cannoneered. All my caps. I rebuke this, and that's fine. I guess there's something they want to protect over there. One artifact, so that way they can cannoneer. Cappy cannoneer. Meet, hit Lord of the Rings card, the One Ring. Yeah, I love that they're countering half a titan. That feels great. That might be a problem. I'm not hoping they deploy more to the board right now. Let's flip this Damio. I wish I had basic bound right now. I don't need it at the moment. Alright, let's just fetch shock verdict. Let's 
So I can pan in the spring leaf drum and then flage them so I don't die. My Tamio. Oh, well, I can pan in a couple things now. I enjoying bullying the poor affinity player a little bit actually. There's worse things to be doing than bullying a poor affinity player. I don't think I want an arena here. One, two, three, five. I'm taking is that ten max? I actually might be dead here. Although I plus Tamio, so maybe I'm not dead. Three, and then this is four, and then Swift Foot Boots would be five. And they could attack me for eleven minus two. If they have an artifact, I'm dead. Maybe I'm supposed to play Arena instead. If I played Arena and got back to Flage. Two less points, three. Yeah, I guess I was supposed to arena the flage. Or maybe just even like escape the flage and hold it back as a blocker. I think I should have escaped the flage and held it back as a blocker. That's what I should have done. This is like the only way I lose this game, right? To get the boots. Should have thought about that for a little bit longer. I could also get graveyard hate. Yeah, to get the boots. Kills the Tamio and attacks me. All right. So we got options. When do I like the best? Verdict go to one. Blaze kill a construct. Pitch Solitude, pay the ward, kill that one as well. Yeah, I think I like Hasty Flage. Kill one Construct and Solitude the other. Should leave Instants and Sorceries in my graveyard. There's a lot of ways to do this. We also get to take out the boots here. Pass, hold up solitude counter spell. It's just like unbeatable from here. Yeah, there's never anything better to do than escape flash. Isn't that the truth? I choose you, counter spell. And signs in. I don't think I want spell snare because spell snare is not good against affinity outside of countering exactly cradial plating. I also don't know how good this Teferi is. I don't think I want polarity. Yeah, I think I'm just bringing in the consigns and that's it. I just gotta figure out what to board out here. Probably Teferi. Teferi's like not terrible though, because it can bounce Saga. I can bounce a tap land. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Maybe I just cut a couple counter spells. Counter spell seems kind of poor. Plasm. I didn't see Emery. I saw Cap Cannon here though, so I'm keeping all the Supreme Verdicts. Supreme Verdict seems like cash money. I think Charmo's a little expensive. I don't think I'd keep this. If it were a two lander, I'd keep it. One lander, probably gotta ship it. Again's good. Very, very good.
So I can actually consign chapter two of the saga if I wanted to. And prevent them from making constructs. That's probably what I'm going to end up doing. I don't hate pending here either. Oh, I like the fairy too. Yeah, chapter two is like their best tool against us, so I think consigning the chapter two here isn't too bad. It's dollar dollar, so 1.5 euros. Naturally. Metallic rebuke. Yep. That's fine. I'd rather than rebuke this than the ring. They might just needle ring, but I do have the prismatic ending for needle. They could get swift foot boost and then play a Kappa Cannon here and send in. Grabbing an Ornithopter. Do they have ring of their own, maybe? Oh, just a Cappy Cannon here. You have a moment to talk about hit Lord of the Ring card, the One Ring, our Lord and Savior? Just a moment of your time. Pretty much. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they had a ring in their deck either. Planes, prismatic ending the needle. Draw many cards. White, white, cast Supreme Verdict. One plays a tap land. I'm probably just gonna make Construct, so I think playing another copy of the ring here is gonna be GG. Well, not GG, but you know, GG. Holy schmoly. I should have done this before cycling the Lorien. Okay, they have consign. Pretty good for them. Makes another construct, probably gets the boots. Mm hmm Draws one million. My solitude there, they attack me for five. I get to draw a million cards. I'm at four. So I can Flage, Escape, Flage, kill the Construct token. That's my entire turn. Oh no, I can't even Flage, Escape, Flage. I don't have cards in the graveyard. I can also consign the Life Loss, that's true. I can also just Verdict, Flage, and pass. But then I could die to the Swift Foot Boots. Alright, let's turn off Auto Yields just to make sure I'm not going to die to something I'm yielded to. Maybe the best line here is Flage this, hold up Double Binding. Hold up single binding plus consign, I guess. 
who get to try them. Emery. Hasting the Emery. Choosing the Soul Guide Lantern. I think I'm just going to consign. I mean, I could consign this or I could consign the ring damage. I mean, I have another Flasian hand. I think this is fine. I don't think I need to replicate it. There's a lot of options. I don't want to take this boots. Let's just take the Emery. Yeah, there's a lot of things I can do every turn. Not sure I care too much about this boots, actually, the more I think about it. This deck has, like, infinite options all the time. Many thought monitors. I could have land capicated here. That's true, less options than lantern. A lot of thought monitors. And yeah, this verdict is gonna be really good. Let's go tap land, Tamu, pass. I don't think I want to keep drawing from this ring if I don't have to. Kind of adds a lot of pressure on me to find something to answer my own ring. They just like pass the turn though. I'm 100% going to draw with the ring. Happy cannon here. Podcast. I think that'll force them to crack the lantern, probably. Two one haste. Uh, stack with Tamio, make a clue token, and then flip the Tamio plus the Tamio. Play the Flayish, kill the Memnite. Play Ring. Also found a Manamo. Yeah, they have to crack Lantern right now, also. Otherwise, I'm just going to escape this. I'll just tap my other red. Oops. Or maybe they don't know that. All right, cracks the lantern. I actually messed that up. That's funny. Worked out. Shouldn't have, but worked out. I think we might be in a pretty good spot.
Young, oh no, I messed up. Bye bye, Tamio. I have 24 cards. I think we just pass with double solitude. Plus counter spell can sign whatever. We have like a myriad of resources. Grabs a Tormod script. Any thought double can sign there? Not really. Because I have so many... So Excuse me, Solitudes. I don't think I need to. Target you, I'll pay the ward. My opponent's at 42. Watch out for 8th Reflux Reservoir. Yeah, you're right. That's true, I might not be able to kill them before I deck out. I actually have, I have less cards than I do. We're down to 16 cards and I'm at 19. Thank you for the tier one. Appreciate it. Welcome back. Glory. Get rid of the stupid boots. And then we can play Tamio. We can haste to Solitude. Let's do the Tamio play first. Hey, Soichi. Alright, we're gonna haste to Solitude. All right. Oops. Please, I need this. My family's starving. 10K on 4 1. They're already commander pill. That's so sad. That's the saddest thing I've seen today. Sorry, Mirido. A little bit of surveillance. I think I'm good on lands. I would love a counter spell. This team flex slot right around on a super long jet ski. Hold on. I gotta send George a message. George, how much for team jet skis? Right, looks like it's the Unearth Oculus deck. Grab the Rafine's Tower. Oh, been a flage. It's just too much value. What's up, Ants? How we doing? I'm 
Spook like that can get a little bit tricky to beat, so not the freest matchup in the world. Until we find Ring, then it becomes a free matchup. Yeah, one fifteen foot long jet ski. It's a nine seater. The Sultai Oculus Vengevine deck, that sounds pretty sweet. Um, S. Yeah, the turning radius is terrible. Sphinx's Revelation got Power Crypt. I think it's just got favored. Oculus time. I'm just gonna binding it. Mm -hmm. A little awkward. I think I just pending it. I want to hold on this verdict for longer. Also, I want to hold a counter spell, so I think the pending is the best option here. Force pitching counter spell. I didn't hate the flage line either. I wanted to commit all their resources here because then I could just untap and verdict. Which is really good for me. Yep, did dodge Harbinger, which is nice. Bow Master. Frog. I'll play draw land here. Alright. I like land. That's a pretty sick rip off the top. Ain't mad about it. I almost wanted to force that. Yeah, it's not sinking a stupor. Alright, we're just gonna pass here. I'm waiting to play in either of my four drops until I have counterspell back up. I just don't think there's a reason to tap out for him. At this very moment. Looks like another Oculus coming. You got it. Here's Solitude. Man, Solitude's so good. I want to get back Flage to play Ring here. I think I'm just going to play Ring. Let's just snowball some advantage. All right. Matchup does seem very hard for blue black. Now all I swapped was two force negations for two invert polarity last time. No, I don't think soul. I do want soul guide against the unearth version. Oh well, didn't get it. I don't know if the soul guides are even necessary to be honest. Like I'm not sure how many unearths are even like leaving in post board. So hear me out. I'm not playing turn one Tamio here. And the reason I'm not playing turn one Tamio is because if they play turn two frog, I want to be able to lit line binding it. So I need to fetch Triumph, Triumph. 
They've been forced negation, which is super interesting too. You refuse to hear me out? That's fine. You don't have to do anything, Jeremy. Yeah, I gotta surveil the flage on top or into the graveyard. Might have been a mistake on their part to bin that force negation. So let's play around spell pierce. Consign. Yeah, I think it's a Tamio block line. So then they have to get rid of two cards to even kill the Tamio. I can like untap verdict. If I draw land. Third frog time. See if the Tamio eats two cards from them. It's so tempting to ring there. But if the last card's counterspell, it's like really no reason to, right? Not until I can hold up spell snare. It was tempting, don't get me wrong. But it's also the most important card of the match. Or in the match, I should say. I think resolving it's like very important. It was kind of tempting the main phase draw there, try to hit the land drop. I think I should have done that. I should, think I should have fired off the main phase clue token. How did you hit the land drop? Hit the two X land drop actually. Here's my hit Lord of the Rings card, the one ring. Goodbye, hit Lord of the Rings card, the one ring. I think we're still in a very dominant position. As long as they don't like Merc Tide me. But if they're on the Unearth Oculus build, I'm not even sure they're playing Merc Tides. Extirpates my Hit Lord of the Rings cards, the One Rings. I'm not a big Timeless fan. Dragon fan, so I'm gonna disagree. I like that on top. I don't think there's a better time to put a basic island on top. It's like. <laughs> All my stuff's already islands. I guess I'm just gonna flip this Tamio then. That's a lot of lands. Play my basic island out of shame. Cameo takes one. Well, this Tamiya is still like an ultimate, so they need to pressure it pretty heavily here, and I'm not sure they can. With me having spell snare counter spell. They also don't have a basic swamp here, so. Yeah, they have to cycle Unearth. That's funny. 
play the free shock lands. Eh, semantics. I actually don't have a basic mountain. <clears throat> kind of wish I did have a basic mountain, though. I think I might draw half my deck, though. Might mess around, draw half my deck. Quad Bowmaster, one, two, three. I can, I can actually solve all the Bowmaster problems. So that's fine. Tax me. I also don't have any black mana right now, so I'd be surprised if they could play Quad Bowmaster. I would like to draw half my deck. Oh. Uh, I'm overwhelmed. I'm going to vomit. No, this is GG's. GG's. I'm part of Team Flex Slot, boys. We did it. Yes. Now George owes me a jet ski. Let's go. That's part of being on Team Flex Slot, right? George hand delivers you a jet ski. You had a hundred, you had 10k. Have you peaked? Bing bong, bing bong, bing bing bong. Have you peaked? You're a third rate duelist. I can't take it anymore.